Hello and welcome to the first video tutorial from GetWordPressBlog.com. The very first step to getting your own WordPress blog is to sign up with a web host. And our preferred web host is DreamHost.com. Very quickly, I'm going to show you all the reasons why this is the most awesome choice for a web host. On their What's Included page, you can see right away that everything is listed as unlimited. So no matter how many files you have, how many visitors you get to your website, how many domains you have, how many databases you need, email addresses, all of that's going to be unlimited. So even when your website gets really popular, you're not going to have to worry about paying overages. Another great feature that they have is the one-click automatic software installers, and that's something that we're going to see in the next video. With literally one click, you can have WordPress as well as a whole bunch of other scripts installed on your website without having any technical knowledge. They also have 24-7 email-based support, which is in California, so you can always get a hold of somebody if you have any questions. Another couple features about DreamHost that I find particularly cool is that they are carbon neutral and they're employee owned. And as an entrepreneur, I find that really cool. I'm glad that I can patronize a company that is employee owned and has concern for the environment. And as you can see, when you head over to my personal control panel within DreamHost, I have been a customer for three years now. So we're going to head back to the main page. And first thing we're going to do is put in our email address and choose a password that is six characters or more and click continue. And on this page you're going to get two options. You can choose a brand new domain to register for free or you can enter your pre-existing domain name. If you already own a domain you can still register a free domain after the sign up process is complete. And for this demo, we're going to choose a pre-existing domain and click continue. From here, we're going to pick a plan. There are three choices and all the prices are clearly displayed. Just go ahead and pick whichever one works for you. Some people like to choose monthly, others want to pay it all in advance. And if you do that, choosing one year or two years, they're going to waive the $50 setup fee. But on the next page, we're going to be putting in a coupon code, which will bring the price down even lower. So just choose whichever one works for you. For, for the purpose of this example, we're going to skip transferring the registration of this domain. So we're not going to select any one of these. And we're going to click Continue. Under the account contact info, you're going to put in the billing information for whatever credit card you're going to use. On the Just a Little More page, the first thing they ask you to choose is your server username. They have something auto-generated for you there and you can keep that or choose something that is a little more recognizable to you. And they're going to generate a password for you later. Then just go ahead and enter the city you were born, skip right to promotional code or email address that referred you, and this is where we're going to save you $25. The code that you're going to put in is I am awesome because you are. And then go ahead and click this box down here agreeing with their terms of service and anti-spam policy and click continue. You can see down here that you got $25 off. Good for you. And now put in your credit card info and click continue. Go ahead and click continue again. Now you have the option to add a few extra things and at this point you don't need them. When you have a more popular website you can add these on later. But for now leave both of these options unchecked and click continue. One more page of extras. You're not going to need any of this except this last freebie down here with Gmail. It's going to really speed up and improve your experience using email if you use Gmail. So go ahead and leave that checked and click continue. And you've done it. You've signed up for a web host. There are two steps left. You're going to change the DNS information for your existing domain to these three pieces of information. And then you're going to log into your control panel located at panel.dreamhost.com. Now we're going to log into our control panel. And on the main page, we're going to see that they're asking for an approval call. 
Once you do this, you're going to get a call and they're going to ask for the four digit PIN, which is right here. Once you enter it, your account will be approved and you will have full access and privilege to change anything you need within your account. Once your account is fully approved, you're going to receive an email and it's going to include your FTP information. You're going to have a username and a password and a server. When you're using your one-click install for WordPress, you're not going to be using this information. If you make other changes to your website, things that are not handled by WordPress, that's when you're going to use this information. So even though you might not end up using it, just go ahead and hold on to it because it may be useful in the future. Now that I've verified my account by phone, I see the default page when I log into my DreamHost control panel, and I am ready for the second step, installing WordPress. Thank you for joining us on this first video tutorial from GetWordPressBlog.com. If you found it useful, please share it with your friends on Twitter and Facebook. Please join us for the second video in the series, Installing WordPress. See ya!